Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Terry and today I will be sharing a fun card that I created with the most recent release. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off my card, I am going in with white cardstock and I'm going in with this new stamp set called Christmas Cactus. And I love this stamp set because it's so adorable. I love indoor plants and outdoor plants, anything plants. So this was... It was close to my heart and I love how all of the Christmas lights and everything was wrapped around each cactus. So I went ahead and stamped that down using an alcohol friendly ink because I do plan to color this in with Copic markers. Okay, so now after everything has been stamped out, I am going right in and coloring it up with my alcohol markers. Like always, I will go ahead and leave a timestamp down below. Just in case if you're not interested in the coloring process, you can go ahead and forward it to that time. But if you are, I hope you stick around and enjoy. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I am back. So let's talk about the background. So what I'm doing here is I'm blending a few hybrid inks in blue onto a white cardstock, and I'm using my blending brush to blend that on. I found that the juicier the ink pad, the easier it is to blend. So when you're doing the ink blending, make sure that your ink pad has enough ink on it. Okay, so I then decided to add a lighter shade of yellow or cream onto the side of the cardstock as well. So I started blending that with the blue that I had on the cardstock. And finally, I wanted to intensify the colors. So I went in with a darker shade of blue and just went around the edges of the card panel. Okay, and now after the ink blending has completed, I wanted to add some interest onto the background. So going in with the Christmas lights background stamp, and I love this stamp set because it's so large. You could actually use it for a two size card or even a slim line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss this on the ink blended panel that we just created. Okay, so I went ahead and applied temporary adhesive onto the blended background and placed that onto my stamping platform. 
And before I ink the stamp set, I want to apply some anti-static powder all over my card panel just to help with any unwanted embossing powders from sticking to areas that I don't want it to. Now going in with a clear embossing ink, I went ahead and stamped the image down onto my blended card panel. I did re-ink the stamp and stamp that twice just to make sure that I got a clear image on my card panel. And once that was stamped out, I went ahead and applied white embossing powder all over my card panel. And of course, I made sure my heat tool was nice and hot and used that to melt the embossing powder all over my ink blended background. Okay, so before assembling the card together, I went ahead and off screen die cut out of vellum using one of the dies from the mini slim bracket dies and charm set. I then used that piece and wrapped it around my ink blended panel. The ink blended panel I also trimmed down to 4 inches by 5 and a quarter inches. And I went ahead and matted that against a red cardstock that's slightly larger than my ink blended panel. I used liquid adhesive to layer all the pieces together. Okay, so now it's time to assemble the card together. So all of these sentiments here are actually from one of the stamp set called Holiday Sentiments. And I went ahead and off screen, I stamped that out and die cut it using my die cutting machine. I love doing this for all of the sentiments because it gives me many options on what to use on my card. I'm not really limited to one sentiment. So here I'm just playing around with the placement of the images and trying to figure out what the layout is. And once I figured that out, I went ahead and added foam squares behind all of the images and used liquid adhesive for the sentiment. Now to give the card a little more interest, I went ahead and glued down a few embellishments. And finally, I adhered it to a top folding card base. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.